This is part 5 of my video, which is called The Secret of Inertia. Now it's time to consider the most important question, whether we can find evidence of the existence of this supposed particle inerton. If we could perform very accurate measurements, we would immediately see whether the inerton exists or not. Since the number of inertons in the particle is integer, for each particle there is integer divisor, which gives us the same result, the inertia of an inerton. But we already said that inertia of a single inerton has to be very small, so it could provide inertia even to a smallest particle. This means that in one such particle there is at least one and possibly several thousands or billions of inertons. And that would far overcome today's possibilities of accurate measurements of particle inertia. Another evidence for the existence of inerton follows the assumption that there must be a huge number of free inertons in the universe due to the formation of a repulsive network in any part of the universe. So that the total amount of matter in the universe must be many times greater than the so-called visible matter consisting of ordinary elementary particles. If it could be possible to prove the existence of repulsive network, that would be a confirmation of what has been said so far, and therefore the confirmation of this theory. However, since the gravity does not affect free inertons, they cannot be detected by gravitational attraction in the universe but by some other means. So let's try to consider an unusual phenomenon to which the existence of repulsive inerton network would lead, would lead in border areas of the universe expansion. This is end of part five. Thank you.